हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू मिठी बाई कॉलेज इन विद बी एन एस प्रेजेंट्स मिठी वुड इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल लाइव टॉक शो आई एम योर होस्ट जानवी जैन एंड टूडे वी हैव विद अस माय पर्सनल फेवरेट मिस गुलफाम खान हसैन आई एम जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर हर टू जॉइन इन हेलो हेलो एवरी वन दिस एडमायरेबल पर्सनैलिटी इज वेरी वेल नोन फॉर हर रोल ऑफ नाम हेलो Can you hear me? Uh, yes, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Well, thank you so much, ma'am, for sparing some time for us and being a thank part. You. I'm so sorry. I I just got I was shooting, so I got a little jumbled up with the timing, and I'm a little late. But I'm extremely sorry about that. This not happened. Oh, no. no, no problem, ma'am. We just begin with it. So, how did you start off your journey in this industry? Like, what was your biggest motivator? well i always loved films so i can definitely say that films were my biggest motivators and uh well when it comes to doing something in aspiring you know my aspirations or maybe uh, the the first thing that affected me was when i was 6 years old and uh, a very famous singer named uh, mohammad rafi if you've heard of him so rafi yeah. sahab was a legend he still is uh, he passed and when he died i as a kid i could just see in the television i could just see people's heads and there were these dots and the first impression i had that what this man must have done for so many people to be affected when he is gone so that became uh, that became my thing of leaving a mark behind when you're gone and people love you so much to spare their time and give you the time so that was the first time i got affected by becoming someone also to everyone in the audience we can take your questions too you can drop in in the question box also ma'am you've played various and diverse roles what do you look at before finalizing a role i see how uh, how much is going to affect me as an actor how challenging it is going to be as an actor um see one thing i believe is um, you are either an actor or you're not an actor you can't be in between yeah. you can't uh, you obviously evolve every day but you have to basically be an actor so if you can do that convincingly and if you can portray that role it's very important when i get a role i see how important that role is how it it does not matter how long or how many uh, how many scenes i have it matters to me what that role or that character is doing or or helping in the overall picture of uh, the the storytelling it has to be very vital uh, irrespective of the length of it so i love uh, um, i love portraying different kind of roles that's why i've done them but yeah the main criteria is how important that character is yeah. any challenges you face throughout your journey you would like to share with our audience or oh, challenges are there every day like every day yes. is a new challenge and uh, it does not matter whether you've been here for 5 minutes or 5 years or 50 years the challenges are unending it's an over evolving process more than challenges what i experience every day is learning i learn something from my mistakes from other people's mistakes and the best thing i learn is from newcomers from students who come up with questions which make me think about the answers and hence i know that that there are these questions which i never thought about so it it yes. becomes a very um, it becomes a very beautiful process and challenges are like i told you those are unending challenges there are technical glitches there are things there will be problems all the time there will always yes. be a thorn in a bouquet of roses so it can be yes. for you know there might be just some person in some universe does not like you for some reason and that all comes out on the set just like any other work so yes and yeah. the most challenging thing is weather so however your weather is however the climate is outside you have to uh, be very comfortable in your own skin to work and whatever yes. affects you personally cannot be seen on your face so you must have lost your pet in the morning but yeah. you have to uh, go and do a wedding sequence Ma'am, you are not audible. Hello. Biggest challenge of all. I can I can you hear yes. me now? Yes. So, yes. So so that's what I'm saying. 
that what what affects you cannot affect your role it cannot affect your work yes so we have a question in the comments ma'am according to you which is more effective theater acting or visual acting i will tell you definitely what is more satisfying is theater acting i have been in theater for a long long time i love being on the stage i love the adrenaline of it i like the rush of it yes. and it is very sadistic towards myself but i even love the hooting that i get sometimes when you are in you know you have a naughty friend who might just try to make you forget the dialogues by hooting on the on the punch lines but you do love that too and uh, but, simply not because because every kind of acting is different like people say tv actor and people say theater actor and people so every kind of acting is different every kind of emoting in that kind of acting is different the loudest acting is theater acting but the response is in instant i don't have to wait for uh, for yeah. the response i don't have to know whether it's a hit or a miss you know immediately whether it's a hit or a miss like i always say that when you do something right you get the clap otherwise you get the slap but it is right there on the face when it is theater sure. but see in theaters it's a one take but in shooting you can have various takes and that's a big difference you know ma'am it it makes uh, the shooting process a little easy uh it is not making easy but um it, it sometimes does it it looks easy but it is also frustrating because don't forget yeah. the, those retakes are not for you those you might have this super emotional scene and you are right there and a person like me who does not take glycerin i have to be emotionally there to do an emotional scene you know i'm uh, i wouldn't call myself an exactly method actor because i'm not that hard working i still have to reach that stage but if i have to do something i have to feel that emotion if i have to feel happy i have to feel the emotion when you're sad you feel the emotion so your tears are right here and they are about to fall and your co-actor sneezes so at that time you don't know what to do because you know it's a human error but but it's frustrating sometimes the camera has has a jerk sometimes the light might flicker so 20 times crying and bringing it out and the 21st time your face is looking bad your emotions are all over the place you're totally in that zone where you're not supposed to be you just had this raw over the surface emotion and now you're deep into it so you just delve into it and you go deep down and that's not how deep it was supposed to be so it's very frustrating as an actor too and uh, uh, i i must have been uh, been to see some shootings so yeah when you go to watch the shootings too you know that it is so frustrating even to watch a person do something 10 times so just imagine yes. how bad it is for us when we are doing the same thing 10 times so <laughs> that is the thing of course there is a lot of there is a bigger unit when in theater you left to your own means so even if you forget a line you know no one's going to cut your line and say eh, 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 bhul gaye na na you improvise <laughs> yourself and you save the day or someone else does it for you so with in theater you have to be absolutely in sync you can't miss it even a bit and with tv yeah the advantage is you get a second chance third chance fourth chance fifth chance but if you are the reason why you getting those many chances the next time you won't get a chance yeah <laughs> so could you tell us something about your journey as a writer uh well um, i used to write a lot of things even as a kid i like the process of storytelling i love to you might call it bluffs or you might this call uh, it you know um Uh, i i just love telling stories i used to make up stories even as a child i used to just tell my younger sister that i met norms and there are fairies living where i go for walk with my friend but she is not allowed because she's a human child and i am partially from some other world and all that hogwash <laughs> that i used to give her but uh, i love storytelling when i started writing i uh, started writing short stories started writing those short stories and giving them to my friends as birthday gifts uh, and then eventually slowly i started ghost writing for scripts the movies did well uh, then i started writing prop full fledgedly i started writing for uh, i've written for a hollywood director i've written for indian directors and now i'm writing for ott platforms i'm really doing some good work from for good ott platforms so the process of the journey of writer never gets over i'm also writing a book i just started a book it's going to be a chiclet and it's called jalebi 
it is uh, about a girl's journey from the age of 13 when she reaches adolescence to she becomes a mature woman and a worldly wise woman so well uh, you know a woman's woman's life is like jalebi the yes. more twisted the more sweeter so yes uh, that's that's the title of my book but it is in english it's a it's a very colloquial language uh, that i've used not difficult language so everyone can relate to it Movie, book, uh, you know, song, series, in all this, what would you prefer more of it, and why? Uh, as in, I didn't get your, uh, I I didn't understand your question. Either a movie, series, or a book. Out of all these three, what would you prefer more? I am an I am an avid reader to the extent that if I don't read, I can't sleep peacefully. So for me, it's become a boon has kind of reached the point where it has become a necessity. If I don't read, I don't sleep peacefully. So now you've got, got my answer. I have to read. But I do love watching. I'm also a movie buff. I watch movies that people are surprised I have watched when I meet people. I cannot. And given the OTT platforms that are available now, there is too much content to watch. So I don't get yeah. to watch so much because I read and I write and I act and I paint and there are so many things to do that I'm not able to uh, read all the con content that's available. But books, I books always are going to be the top of the list, and movies, and then I think series. But when given a comparison between the cinema and the OTT platforms, what would you personally? Do? Um, it's a very, uh, it's not a difficult question. It's an impossible question to answer. Because I love watching a film because it gets over, the story is over, it is done and dusted with. But kind of OTTs that are made today, every story ends and still leaves a loose end. So you see the continuation of that. It can be unending, but at the same time, like, like with TV acting or uh, visual acting, it can be frustrating too because it's just not getting over and you're watching so much content, one hour every episode is too much. So now I think the time has come when we are going to have a lot of shots because attention span is also very less. We have less time on hand. Now we're not in lockdown anymore. So we have very less time and we need to, we really, really need to uh, get back to life. So it's, it's going to get into shorter spans. But uh, yeah, I think films precede, precede it and uh, OTT follows real close behind. Yeah. So, when in life, there's success and failures. How does a human deal with it? Like, how did you personally deal with it? When someone is facing such a face, it never happens. In any human life, there's always more success and failure is very less. But we are human, so we are not grateful. And we are dissatisfied. We see that one cut is in the flowers of the flowers. And they don't see all the flowers. So there are pool, hai, patte hai, you know, you have baby barrettes, you have small little uh, buds, but we ignore that and the thorn will hurt. That's why we put it in three failures, but we get disappointed, ho jate hai, but that is not the thing. Yes, this is very important, that you have to understand your strength. There are many people who want to do acting, but at the right time, at the right time, I just want to say that you have to have an alternate profession. The other thing is that you have to have an alternate profession. आपको ये जानना बहुत जरूरी है कि आप एक्टर हैं या नहीं नहीं हैं और ये सेल्फ अवेयरनेस से ही आएगा आपको दस लोग बोलेंगे कि आप बुरे एक्टर हो तो आप नहीं मानोगे प्लस आई बिलीव दैट 95 परसेंट इज लक अगर आपको एक्टर आप अगर एक्टर सक्सेसफुल एक्टर बन रहे हो तो जरूरी नहीं कि आप अच्छे एक्टर हो इसलिए सक्सेसफुल हो गए तो आपको ये जान लेना चाहिए आप अपने आप को एक म्याद दो एक वक्त दो एक दायरा दो एक इतना वक्त दो कि समझो तीन साल मैं कोशिश करूं और वो कोशिश में अगर मेरा कुछ हो जाए तो आई डू दिस अदरवाइज यू कैन ऑलवेज एक्ट एक्टिंग इज नेवर गोइंग टू गो आउट ऑफ लाइक इट्स नॉट इट्स नॉट लाइक आर्मी दैट यू कैन जॉइन ओनली टिल सर्टन एज इट्स नॉट लाइक पुलिस फोर्स दैट यू कैन जॉइन ओनली टिल यूर एट थर्टीज एक्टिंग तो आप नब्बे साल के भी हो जाओ तो कर सकते हो सो वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू जस्ट रिलाय ऑन दैट वो करते रहो लेकिन साथ में कुछ करो जहाँ आपकी रोटी कपड़ा मकान की टेंशन टेंशन सॉल्व हो जाए अगर ये ना चले तो सो डोंट बॉद फेलियर आर नॉट टू मेनी कोई ऐसा दिन रहेगा जब आप सोच लेंगे कि आज मुझे कुछ नहीं करता कुछ नहीं करना तो उस दिन आपको वो मोटिवेशन कहाँ से मिलता है कोई ऐसी चीज जो आपको रोज मोटिवेट करती है काम करने के लिए 
मेरे हस्बैंड <laughs> उनको मैं काम करते हुए देखती हूँ तो मैं सोचती हूँ भाई ये बंदा कितना काम करता है ठीक मैं काम नहीं कर रही हूँ Uh, jokes I said uh, though he is the biggest motivator लेकिन जिस दिन मैं सोचती हूँ कि मैं कुछ नहीं करूंगी उस दिन मैं सबसे ज्यादा बिजी होती हूँ क्योंकि आई एम नॉट अ पर्सन ऑफ आई एम ऑल्सो हॉबीस्ट आई हैव टू मेनी हॉबी सो वेर आई एम सिटिंग इज माई मेकअप रूम सो आई विल शो यू समथिंग वेन आई एम फ्री इन माई मेकअप रूम वेर आई एम वर्किंग एंड शूटिंग ऑल डे आई गेट हार्डली टू थ्री आवर्स ऑफ सो आई विल शो यू समथिंग विच यू हैव टू सी I keep on making small artifacts. Can you see this dog and this owl? Yes. So yeah, so I keep on making such things. So I I get my clay, I get my macrame thread. So there is another macrame thread that is hanging over there. I'm going to make a planter out of it now. You love and to whenever I'm free, yes, I keep myself very busy. So जिस दिन मैं कुछ नहीं करती हूँ उस दिन तो कमाल ही कर देती हूँ. Also, कोई ऐसी एडवाइस जो आप हर यंग स्टूडेंट यंग आर्टिस्ट सबको देना चाहेंगे जो इस इंडस्ट्री में एंटर करना चाहते हैं जिंदगी में कुछ बड़ा करना चाहते हैं पेशेंस बहुत जरूरी है पेशेंस रखिए और नाउमीद ही वही होती है जहां हद से ज्यादा उम्मीद लगा कर आ पाओ आप ये सोच के आओ कि इतना है इतना वक्त मैं दे रहा हूँ दे रही हूँ इतना वक्त मुझे देना चाहिए इतना वक्त मेरे पास है जो मैं डाल सकता हूँ सकती हूँ और उतना वक्त के साथ आप ये देखिए कि आपका प्लान भी क्या है क्योंकि कई बार जिंदगी में प्लान भी आपका प्लान नहीं हो जाता है मैं ऐसे भी लोगों को जानती हूँ जो बहुत अच्छे एक्टर्स है लेकिन किस्मत के लगते उनको वो ब्रेक नहीं मिला पर उन्होंने दूसरी फील्ड में बहुत कुछ कर लिया मैं जानती हूँ कि क्योंकि इनके अंदर एक एक्टर है तो ये कभी yes. ना कभी जब भी चाहे तो वापस स्टेज पे फिल्म में टीवी में एड्स में कहीं ना कहीं आ जाएंगे पर उन्होंने ये अवेयर अपने आप को ये बात समझा दी कि भाई अगर किचन चलाना है तो इससे नहीं होगा ये कर लेते हैं फिर बाद में एक्टिंग तो कर ही लेंगे तो ना उम्मीद ही नहीं करना ज्यादा उम्मीद भी मत लगाना और रियलिस्टिक रहना वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू बी प्रैक्टिकल Yes. Also, I would like to thank everyone who has joined us in this live, and thank you so much, ma'am, for sparing some time with us. We are thank absolutely honoured. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wish you luck for your festival. Wish you luck anyway in life. Just peace, happiness, love, kindness coexist. <laughs> <laughs>